everyone and welcome to day four of WordPress for Designers on ThemeForest.net. Uh, today we're going to pick up right where we left off on day three and continue with our blank WordPress theme. Uh, we're going to focus on working with the WordPress loop today and actually pulling out and displaying some content from our WordPress database. So it's going to be, we're going to learn some pretty cool stuff today and and how to actually get our content to start showing up and organizing it in the way that we want to. And we're also going to look at a few uh, a few more template tags that we didn't look at yesterday and use them to help us build our theme. So um, I always like, oh, and also I'm on a, I'm on a new mic, so um, the audio should be better than it was yesterday, but if you're having any issues uh, with it, be sure just to let me know, and uh, I'll do my best to uh, fix it as soon as I can. So uh, getting started, I always like to have a nice inspirational wallpaper um, set up, like the one right now. Um, so if that's something that helps you or gets you motivated, you know, like maybe just like a cool like rainbow gradient would would work nicely. Some something you know that whatever works for you. Um, so that said, let's go ahead and pick up where we left off and open up Firefox. And you'll remember in day three that this is what uh, we left off at, and we didn't have any content displaying yet. Uh, but we were using some WordPress template tags to display uh, the title of our blog and and we, we mainly focused on the Word, WordPress template tags and how they work. So the first thing is go ahead and go to the uh, uh, WordPress admin panel and what I want you to do is go ahead and fill in, um, add some filler content. Um, I've added about three posts uh, just so we have something to pull out of our database uh, when we get into the loop here in just, uh, in just a little bit. So if you don't know how to do that, you just click, you go under Posts, and you click Add New, and you just add the title of your post and any HTML and uh, post content in here. I just like to use filler content. I'll give you an example if I go to Edit. and you'll see my content here and one thing I want to point out before we go any farther is the HTML uh, comment you see here with with the more in between and if you've ever been on a website uh, that's run by WordPress or a blog and you've seen the the read more or continue reading link on the article snippet um, that's what the more tag does so um, there are other ways to do this in WordPress, but this is the easiest and in this way gives me the most control because I can decide when my content cuts off. So I generally just like to do a, a paragraph introduction, then use the HTML comment um, with more in between, and WordPress will automatically uh, add the, the read more link, which we'll, we'll get into when we're, when we're working with the loop here. So go ahead and add some filler content. It doesn't need to be much, just something that we can we can pull out of our out of our database and I'll assume that you already have that done or you've paused it and, and done that so we'll go ahead and open up Coda or whatever text editor you prefer um, I'm using Coda right now so that's what I'll be using um, and we will open up our index.php file that we were working with in day three and just to recap you'll remember that we use the blog info template tag a lot to display a lot of our information about our blog as well as the language attributes um, and, and those are the really the only template tags we focused on in day three just in case you missed it so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna we're gonna start uh, pulling out some of our content we're not gonna worry about breaking up our our, our header and our, our index into different header and footer files yet we're just gonna focus on uh, writing the markup that's gonna pull out the content from our database so I like to start with a div ID of wrap and wrap everything in that and it gives me more control and allows me to, to set widths and, and center uh, things with margins and so on. So go ahead and give it a div ID of wrap and the first thing we'll need is our header or our you know the name of our blog and the, at least the description. So I'm going to try to keep this as organized as I can by using some comments and we'll just say begin header and end header okay and now we're also gonna wrap our header in a div ID of header 
Okay, first thing we want to do is display the name of our blog, which right now is Testing WordPress Forest. So H1 tags would probably be the most appropriate uh, markup for this. So we'll make our H1 tags. And here's where we'll, where we'll use some more WordPress template tags to help us out. Um, in between our H1 tags, we're going to start an anchor tag. And we are going to put PHP echo get option home just like so and now we will do PHP blog info name and we will close our anchor tag. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that and let's go to Firefox and let's refresh and see what we have. Okay, and you can see that a link to uh, the title of our blog is showing up and, and the, title, uh, the title is as well. So we have that. Oh, oh and you might have noticed that I have uh, that it's centered. I have some very basic styles going on in our style, that CSS. I gave our wrap a width of 960 and then our div ID of header, uh, I just aligned it to the center for now. But we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about how it looks at this point. So next we need our tagline or our description. So we'll give it a div class of tagline. And all we have to do here is PHP, we're going to use the blog info again, and we'll say description. Oops. Yeah. PHP blog info description, and that is going to get our tagline or the description that we have set um, in our general settings for our blog. So we'll save that, and we'll go over to Firefox again, and we'll refresh. And you can see we have a WordPress video series by ThemeForest.net, which is our blog's description. So, so far, so good. Our header is looking good. In fact, we can just leave our header at that for now. And we can go ahead and get straight into the WordPress loop. And so, we're going to go ahead and begin content. Just to stay organized here. End content. Maybe main content would be a better description, but... It's okay. And we are going to start, uh, as I said, the WordPress loop. So the WordPress loop is, is, the, is the PHP code and functions that actually grab uh, any posts uh, we specify from our database and display it. So the first thing we need to do is PHP if, and any if statements always go inside parentheses, if have posts colon and we'll close our PHP statement. So now we're saying we're, we're using a conditional statement saying if we have any posts to display PHP while which is a loop a while loop also goes in between parentheses while we have posts have posts the post so grab while we have posts grab the post and then lastly well, not lastly, but, but next we need to actually display the, the content, our, our actual post. So, PHP, the content, will actually uh, echo out our content. Now, we need to do a few more things here before we can uh, check out what we have so far. We need to, first we need to end our while statement that we had going. So, we end while, and lastly, PHP end if, end our if statement. And we're going to come back to this in just a second, but we'll save, we'll refresh, and we have the three post snippets uh, showing up just as they should. But we'll notice that there's no, there's no title of what the post is yet, only the actual content of the post is, is showing up for now. So let's change that. Before the content, let's display the name and the link to the posts. 
Uh, and let's do that in between uh, H2 tags. But before we do that, I'm actually going to I'm going to wrap I'm going to wrap the content here in a class uh, post snippet, just so we can keep track of it and style it down the road. Okay, and I'll go ahead and kind of separate that from everything else. Okay, now before the post is displayed, like we said, we want to display the title and the link to the post. So we'll use some H2 tags for this, which is pretty good markup. And we will open an anchor tag, and we will do PHP the permalink and close the quote and we'll do title and we'll just say permanent link to and again we'll use PHP the title attribute and that will display the, the the title in between our title tags there now we need to close the anchor tag and lastly what we want to do is display the actual title in between the anchor tag so the title and now we can close our anchor and our h2 tag is closed so we can save and what we've done here is, is in between our link we've given the URL with the permalink uh, the permanent link to to that specific post the title of the link and then the actual and then also again uh, well, excuse me the title attribute which goes in between the title tags and then for the actual text we have the title of the posts and that's all being inserted in between h2 tags and an anchor tag so we'll save that. We'll come over to Firefox and we'll refresh. And there we go. We can see our title tags and they are linking to all of our different, uh, all of our three posts that we have set right now. So we're starting to slowly but surely see uh, some progress here. Uh, next, let's just add a quick, doesn't matter how nice it looks, um, style for our class of post snippet just so we can separate each post a little more uh, we'll just do a, a border of two pixels solid CCC uh, we'll go ahead and give it a margin oops some margins on the top and bottom of about 40 pixels a little bit of padding and uh, what else should we let's give it let's have some fun with the Mozilla border radius and uh, something like this, I guess. Okay, just just so we can separate that, let's see if that shows up. Okay, good. Styles are showing up, and uh, the titles of our individual posts are now showing up. So that's uh, that. That is the pure basics of the WordPress loop. Is just if have posts, then we run it through a while. We have post the post, and we display the content. Now, one thing that we want to do and that we'll notice is these this little more doesn't look too great. I mean, we we want to change that. How do we how do we change what that says? Well, you'll remember when we went over WordPress template tags that most template tags can be passed parameters. So for the content, well, let's just let's call it instead. Let's say uh, continue reading. Dot dot dot. We'll save that. We'll pass it the parameter of continue reading for the text that we want it to display. We refresh and we'll see that it shows up uh, just as we would expect it to. So that is how we get the custom uh, text there for the more tag that we uh, discussed earlier. So now we can see how the, the how the basics of of the WordPress loop uh, work. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and add our footer and we'll come back to the loop and do a few more things after this. So begin footer. End footer. Okay. And we'll go ahead and give it a div ID. I'm going to indent here. Div ID of footer.
All right, now in our footer, all we really want to, we don't want to display too much. Maybe uh, a link to our RSS feeds, and then uh, the really popular, uh, you know, proudly powered by WordPress, and we'll and we'll give a link to WordPress. So we'll put everything in between some paragraph tags. And first thing is we'll just do the famous blog info name. You know, and, and WordPress likes it if we say is proudly powered by WordPress. And we'll put that in between a link that we'll give to WordPress. Okay, and now we want to display the links to uh, our post RSS feeds and our comments RSS feeds, which WordPress can automatically handle. So, first we'll open up an anchor tag, href, php, blog info, once again, and we'll hit rss2 URL and then we will write close our tag and then full post uh, whoops full post RSS and for our comments we'll do and start another anchor tag PHP again blog info This time we will do comments rss2 url. Once again, we will close that and write comments rss and close our anchor tag. Okay, let's save that. Open up Firefox. See if our footer is showing up. Great. Testing WordPress Forest, which is our name right now of our th of our theme is proudly powered by WordPress and then you see our full post RSS and our comments uh, RSS link uh, at the bottom there so lastly what I want to go into is what if we don't have any posts to display in our WordPress loop well if you're familiar with PHP we can use an else statement after our if statement so after while we'll write PHP else space colon and then we'll we don't have a search form to include for now which would be nice but we'll just write sorry but man, <laughs> sorry but we could not find what you were looking for and let's let's give him some encouragement but but don't give up. Keep at it. Just in case they feel like giving up. Well, you know, little words of encouragement can go far away, you know. And then that's our else statement. So you can see here we have if have posts, and inside of that we have our posts being displayed, and then end while, and then else if we don't have any posts, display sorry, but we could not find what you were looking for, but don't give up, keep at it. You're you're a special person anyway. And then we end our our if statement. So that is how we could use an else uh, statement in case we didn't have any posts for whatever reason. And uh, one more thing I want to go over today is what if we have a bunch of posts and we need those um, next page or you know newer entries or previous entries links that you see on a lot of blogs. Well, firstly, that's going to go after end while, but before else, because there obviously are still posts at this point, or there are posts that are being displayed. So in between some paragraph tags, we will do PHP, previous, posts, link. Okay, and we can pass it the parameters of what we would like it to say. 
So we'll just say, you know, previous entries. Just something real generic for now. And then right after that, just just to demonstrate this, we'll just do the same thing, but next posts link. Again, we'll pass it the parameters of older entries. and that will be it so we'll save it and it shouldn't show up yet because we're only displaying three posts right now well we need to go in to see if it's worked we need to go into our general settings oh, excuse me our reading settings and blog blog pages show most at and it says 10 posts right now well it knows we're showing all of our posts so there's no newer or older entries to view so just so we can see if that worked we know we have three posts, so let's just let's only show two of the latest posts on our on our home page just to see if that's worked. So we'll come back and we'll refresh. We'll scroll down and yes, we can see we have an older entries and only two posts are displaying, so we can click older entries and we'll you know why white snake is Tebes. Um, and we can go back to previous entries. So that is how the previous post link and next post link uh, tags can be used and and you know you can get uh, a lot more creative and fun with those and, and how they're worded and, and pagination and all kinds of cool stuff um, but that is what we'll focus on for today is just the the basic WordPress loop um, it's not really as, as difficult as some people make it sound and there's a lot of stuff we can do with the WordPress loop um, and customizing it and pulling stuff from certain categories uh, let's let's go ahead and remember to set our blog post back to 10 so that doesn't stump us or stump me later. And we'll refresh. Okay, and that's where we're going to leave off for today. Um, we're still not going to worry about how the design looks for now. Uh, we're going to get to that, though, in a, in a few series from now. Um, we haven't worked on pages or categories or the sidebar much recently, and all of that is coming up um, very shortly. So... Stay tuned for day five of WordPress for Designers, and we encourage you to uh, subscribe to the RSS feed if you're enjoying this series. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and have a great day.